Hi everyone, it's Danny from Orchid Nature. Okay, so today we're gonna answer another question sent in by Francesca. And this is a tricky one. Okay, the question is, why do commercial growers and nurseries manage to grow their orchids in pure sphagnum moss? And we have to unpot them when we get them home because most of the times they'll rot. Okay, so let's try to answer this question. Okay, so I think you've all wondered this. I know I did. And I've never actually been in a nursery or a commercial growing space of some sort. Uh, but what I'm going to say is going to be purely logical or just what I think in my opinion. So uh, feel free to join the discussion and um, tell me and share your opinions. Okay, so let's first think about the orchids that we actually receive uh, when we go to a nursery. How do they look and um, what stage of growth they're in? So most of them, if you noticed, are not very old. They're not super young either, but they are youngish. They say blooming size, but most of them have never bloomed before, but they're about to bloom. Okay, so this actually gives us an indication. Okay, so from what I've noticed, orchid nurseries receive orchids when they're tiny, tiny little seedlings and they come in those bottles, you know, in that liquid where seeds are actually developing. And actually, after that, an orchid needs to be potted in sphagnum moss, an orchid seedling, because it is a lot more fragile than a mature orchid. It will need quite a lot of water and moisture because it doesn't have any older um, leaves, any older pseudobulbs to retain nutrients and water and so on. It just doesn't do good if you try to plant a seedling directly into bark or coconut chips. Um, so sphagnum moss is the ideal media for seedlings. Okay, so I think that's how the orchids start off at, a, at an orchid nursery. Okay, so meanwhile, while the plant grows, it stays in this media and at some point after two or three years, it's going to reach maturity and it's going to be good for selling. Either it's going to be in bloom, either it will have buds, either it will just be blooming size but not blooming yet. Now, the media will not be changed prior to selling you the orchid and um, we have a very good reason for that. Imagine that you're going to change the media of the orchid, so you're going to shock it with that, you're going to switch from sphagnum moss to bark, and then you're going to get it out of the nursery and sell it to a person which has a totally different environment in their balcony, home, or whatever um, um, place they're growing it in. So it's a double shock. So imagine if, if a grower repots the orchid and then sells it to you, um, it might not do so well, it might actually die because it's going to suffer two shocks, too many shocks um, in, in a very short period of time. So what the growers do is actually leave the orchid in the sphagnum moss, they're going to sell it to you, either in bloom, either not, and it's your duty then to assess the plant and actually change the sphagnum moss because the orchid will not be a seedling anymore, it will not like sphagnum moss so much, it can do better in a different um, type of mix. Um, but I think that's the main reason why we should really not be very upset that we're receiving an orchid in sphagnum moss if it just reached maturity. I think it's safer. It's just up to us to repot it. And then of course comes technology. So in orchid nurseries, keep in mind the conditions are just right and the ventilation is really, really well made. Now orchid nurseries, as far as I've seen on the internet, have very huge fans that always ventilate the air, creating this windy condition. So the sphagnum moss will not stay soggy for quite a long, long time. Of course, it will retain more water, thus making it more economical. Um, they don't have to use as much water to water them. But also, they're very, very ventilated, the orchids, and this actually limits the appearance of rots and fungus and molds and so on um, a great deal, actually. So the conditions are just right. It's also very warm. It's not cold unless the orchid needs it. But when, when orchids are, are seedlings, they do need higher temperatures than mature plants. So all these conditions are met in an orchid nursery for them to be able to keep them in sphagnum moss. So I think this is the bottom line. It's not super complicated. They just have the orchids at seedlings. They grow in the nursery and then they just sell it to you as it is because they don't want to super shock the plant to give you a plant that is shocked and possibly die on you the moment you get it home. So it's really a ritual that you have to do. Of course the sphagnum moss it's going to be in, it's going to be pretty old two or three years old, so you do need to change it. It's gonna be compacted from all those waterings of so many years. 
and um, yeah your orchid is just not gonna be a seedling anymore it's not gonna uh, prefer sphagnum moss in most cases so it's a ritual that you have to learn and you have to do because in the end it's better than an orchid that has just been repotted and um, sold to you it's better to use your own um, preferred media your own tools your own everything than um, you know to just get an orchid freshly repotted because you never know how the orchid was disinfected or if it was disinfected if it was potted correctly and so on so I think that's what's happening with orchid nurseries that's why they keep orchids in sphagnum moss because they're seedlings going into maturity and so on so I hope I answered the question this is at least what I think if you guys have any other ideas if you've ever been to orchid nurseries or know somebody who works in orchid nurseries uh, we can have a discussion in the comment section below so we can all learn more okay so thank you for sending in the question if you have other questions in regards to orchids um, just leave me a comment and I'll try to answer and if you want to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe to my channel I post um, not really daily but quite often and uh, yeah visit orchidnature.com for more goodies I'll see you next time bye